enjoy the cleaning. I have this stuff, this stuff, stuff my dad just to organize since I got nothing new. I'm under going through all the stuff. It's like, wow, it's a lot. This is like, um, I bought this when I bought that Red Energy, like 15 watt phone panel thing, which doesn't work that great, but it came with a little power bank. It was super cheap. It was like 15 bucks or both. There was a button on here somewhere, I believe. Yes. I think this is only like a 5,000 whatever watt charger, but you know, I've used it before. It's not too bad. And a solar panel, you have to have a thing like perfect, and it's nothing great. But for emergencies, it would be useful, I guess. I don't know. Finding cables galore here. I have so many micro USB cables, it's not even funny. And the key that. <laughs> This key I was looking for for so long from my brack, and I couldn't figure out where it was. I had to drill a lock out, and of course, like two days later. Nice, expensive lock, lock, but I had to get it off my bike. Or my bike, off my bike right So basically, just cleaning out these blue bins so I can make room in my room and clean it up a little bit. This is a memory card adapter. HDMI extender that Amazon gives you, which is stupid because it doesn't really extend it. Wow, well, you know, that's funny. I still have this, you know. When you uh, wrote your name, I still have the little notebook thing too over here. Where is it? I know you're remembering this too. I know you remember. Was right here. That little notepad I had right here. When you came over one day and you were writing your name over and over on uh, said two piece of paper, I put was here. That's why I like things like that. You, know? you put effort into my life. So I still have them, by the way. Awkward. But just friendly, of course. I remember getting these pens with you, I think, too. These are really nice, the gel, the G2 pens. Amazing pens. It's like a little squeegee thing for stickers. I think I'll put the Star Wars one in my car. Oh, all the other stuff is just, you know, fire stick back in the day. I put tape on there because this is the old fire stick, and they actually had the newer version, and the newer version sucked. It didn't want to work right, so. Random ass old picture of my dog. He looked hella pissed that day. <laughs> he did not like taking pictures. Why are you taking a picture of me for? I just read paper and pictures, I think. Let's go through here. Yeah, so here's... Even though my dog was literally... His eyes were bulging out, and he got some weird thing, he was always still happy if you took him to the water. Took him to the beach, he was happy. This is, like, his last days, and he was still, like... Still had weight. He couldn't see. He literally went blind. And, you know, he still had fun. He still went through shit. So... Uh, that was shitty because I waited my whole life for a dog and that's what happened. Only happened for a couple of years. And I'll, I'll tell you a story real quick and try not to cry. But, um, you can literally see what happened. So I had to like, walk him to go to the bathroom. He was blind. He kept running and stuff. And, uh, he was holding on, which is like mind blowing to tell he wasn't doing well. But that night I could tell, like, either I'm going to wake up, he's going to be alive, or I wake up, he's going to not. But, like, he was breathing, which is the creepiest thing in the world. But, like, he would not get up. Like, he was like, breathing, so I would check on him. I'm like, okay, he's breathing, he's good, whatever. You know, we're watching a movie, he's fine still. He's, he would just sort of next to me or whatever. And then I went up, my friends were leaving, whatever, went to go to bed. Was, he's, he, he always lays in my room. He would not leave my room. You know, I'm like, he, I had to leave the door open because he'd come back and basically jump in my bed and piss me off if he had to go to the bathroom. Like, that night, he would not get up, would not get up. He's breathing. I'm like, is he pranking me? Because, like, he would fuck around and do shit like that. Well, he would not get up, not get up, not get up. He finally just, I think he was already gone, but something in his brain, like, he had enough strength to walk from the living room to my room, and that's where, like, 
He was still breathing when I woke up in the morning, but he was like in a coma or whatever. Wouldn't get up. Literally splash water of nothing. Did not move an inch. So, I don't know. I think his body was just done weird. Oh, another horrible time in my life. But, yeah. You want to see some hospital pictures, I guess? Hospital. Getting my cancer treatment. Never been, had surgery before. Um... I actually had to give them, have them give me something because I was so nervous. They must take a picture of me, drive me nuts. Uh, either coming around the hospital or going, and I probably shouldn't wear shorts because that was the most irritating in the world. But, like, you know, these are times in your life when you want somebody you love by your side, but, you know, you have other plans. Yeah, this is me with a catheter. Going to the hospital, they're gonna rip it out. I was finally free though. It was a chemo flush for a couple of weeks, and that was basically strapped to a bed. This bed that I'm currently sleeping in right now, and I couldn't move, couldn't sleep, couldn't do anything. It was a horrible time in my life. And they pulled it out. I remember that day, I'm like, I just need to go home by myself. I'm gonna lose my mind. So that was that. I went home by myself and slept. It was so bad. Look, I took anti meds, I took sleep meds just to sleep for a couple hours. But she was like, on the count, we're going to pull it out. And she was like, one, two, ah, ah you. The adult didn't get checked, people. But anyways, uh, just going through the stuff. You're living horrible memories. That's what this box was. Horrible memories. Some good, but you know. With the good, there comes the bad. But that's all for today.